So the first one, gesture based typing. It has been around for 10 years on Android and many people still don't know about it. And if you've not been using it, you've been typing slow. You pretty much just swipe your fingers over letters and the keyboard intelligently forms the word. But this is not something turned on by default on your Samsung keyboard and you're gonna have to go and turn that on. So when your keyboard is open, tap on the gear icon, go into keyboard settings and then into swipe, touch and feedback settings and then just turn on swipe to type. That's it. All right, next thing. You can just use the space bar to navigate between letters and words by just long pressing and sliding it left or right. Even better, if you use another finger at the same time, you can slide to highlight text and then cut, copy or delete. And guys, if you haven't already subscribed to me, it would mean so much if you did and if you could hit that notification bell icon so you get to know every time I put up a video. And now let's move on. Next, Samsung Pass is a great way to store and quickly share very private, critical or sensitive information. Now, whether it's private notes, whether it's credit card details, your addresses, or sign in information to various websites and you know you just want to share that information with someone else this is how you do it you can just tap on any of these and that information just gets pasted as text into the input box of your message so anything that you want to store and be able to share later like bank account details or as i said addresses you can do that so quickly with this and if you're worried about data and security well there's nothing to worry about samsung secure is protected by samsung knox which is their Enterprise level security, you know, it's super encrypted, super secure, nothing to worry about. Next, Samsung keyboard can resize itself to give you a more convenient typing experience. So within modes in settings, you can choose one handed mode and be able to type easily with just one hand, despite the large size of your phone. Oh, and there's also a floating keyboard mode. So, you know, if in case you do want to use this for any purpose without downloading anything else, your Samsung keyboard has four built in themes and to access that just go into settings scroll down into theme and now you'll see four of these right and they all are very similar except there's a dark and a white theme with strokes and without keystrokes that's all but this will only work if you're not in dark mode if you're in dark mode then obviously your keyboard is always black and you're gonna have to stick with that now samsung keyboards can get very fancy with their themes they can light up as you swipe across letters or as you type. Now, while this can get distracting at times, it does look really cool. And there's one way to activate this. Go into Galaxy Store and install Good Lock on your phone. When you do that, you will see something called as Keys Cafe, which you'll also have to install. And once that's done, just go into Style Your Own Keyboard. You'll see something called as Effects, which you're going to have to turn on. And that's it. You know, there are a couple of effects that you can go through and you can select. You can also change the color scheme. So there are a few that are already made, but you can create your custom one as well. You can also go into colors and choose a different theme altogether. And there are some that are already made, but of course you can make your own as well. And here are some themes that I really like that are already built in with this uh, app. So yeah, anyway, fun thing to try, so go ahead. Next, all Samsung keyboards have a translate option and the number of languages that are supported is just insane. And it's really accurate as well. And just look at that list, it's insane, it's so much. Anyway, so it's really easy, you set your language on the left and the translated language on the right, and then you hit that translate button and you get that input in your message box. That simple. Your Samsung keyboard also has a search option that searches through multiple things at the same time. So let's say you put in a keyword, you'll find emojis and bitmojis that correspond to it, you'll find GIFs, you'll also find Netflix, YouTube, and Spotify search results for that keyword. And when you tap on that video, it'll just paste the link of that title in the message box. Anyway, that's it guys. You know, those were some things I wanted to share about the Samsung keyboard. So if you're using a Samsung phone and using the Samsung keyboard on it, these are things you ought to know. I hope this was really helpful. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.